In Korea, two different age systems are used, and one is the one you already know, the internationally used age system. That's also used in Korea in formal settings. But in everyday situations, the so-called Korean age is used. In the Korean age system, everyone's age gets updated on January 1st, which means everybody gets one year older on the first day of the year, not on their individual birthdays. And Korea is the only country that still uses this age counting system. Let's talk about why this is the case and what Korean people actually think of it. My name is Yeji Kim and you're watching Talk To Me In Korean. Let's first briefly talk about how you count age in the most commonly used Korean age system. Basically, you count how many different years you have experienced, including your birth year. For example, if a baby was born in 2020, they've experienced the year 2020, 2021, and 2022. So this year, they are in year 3 of their life. So they are 3. Very simple, right? It doesn't matter whether the baby was born in January or November. All the people born in 2020 are 3 years old in 2022. So that means a baby who was born on December 31st, 2000 will turn 2 on the following day, which is January 1st, 2001, even though they are actually 2 days old. But of course, with little babies, more commonly, people actually count how many days old or how many months old they are because that makes more sense. In fact, back in the day, this kind of age counting system was widely used in many East Asian countries. But Korea is the only country that still uses it to this day. Why? Because the Korean age is perfectly aligned with the Korean language and culture. In Korea, when you are talking to a person who is even just one year older than you, you shouldn't call them by their name, and you should use social titles like 언니, 누나, 오빠, 형 to show them some respect. In addition to that, you choose different words, different verb endings depending on whether the person you're talking to is older or younger than you. And this is one of the reasons why the Korean age has been around until this day. Ah, 맞다. 나 오늘 생일이다. 예지야, 나 오늘 생일이야. 오늘부터 내가 오빠야. 이제부터 존댓말로 말해. Age is so closely interwoven with the Korean language that to change this, there will be a lot of confusion during the transitional period. If age stops determining the formality, what will? Is it possible to stick to just one formality level with everyone? Probably not. In a nutshell, it's very complicated. Then, what do Korean people think of this Korean age system? According to a survey conducted in 2021, 71% of Koreans agreed to abolishing this age system, and only 15% supported the Korean age. In fact, there have been some attempts to abolish the Korean age, but they were not successful due to the potential consequences and side effects it will have on Korean society. So, does the Korean age make more sense for you now? What are your thoughts about the Korean age? Please let us know in the comments below. And also, if there is any topic about Korea you want me to cover, please leave it down there. 그러면 다음 영상에서 봐요. Talk talk every day. Bye.